वेलकम बैक टू अवर सीरीज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल ट्रिप्स इन वृंदावन वी आर कवरिंग द सेवन गोस्वामी टेम्पल्स फर्स्ट एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग राधा रमन टेम्पल श्री राधा रमन टेम्पल वॉज एस्टाब्लिश बाई श्रीला गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी द डेटी ऑफ राधा रमन सेल्फ मैनिफेस्टेड फ्रॉम ए शालीग्राम शिला जस्ट फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ श्रीला गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी शालीग्राम शिलाज आर कंसिडर्ड टू बी नैचरल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड आर देर फोर इमिडिएटली वॉशिवेबल एंड डू नॉट नीड टू बी इंस्टॉल्ड Saligram Sila typically is a sacred black stone that is worshiped specifically by brahmanas and must be worshiped in all vedic sacrifices as the yagapati or principal enjoyer of sacrifice the story regarding the amazing shalagram shila of gopal bhatta is as follows after spending a number of years studying and writing In the company of Goswamis in Vrindavan, Gopal Bhatt decided to visit Himalayan region in a place called Mukti Natha. In the Mukti Natha, there is a famous shrine of Lord Vishnu. One day, while taking his bath in the sacred Kali Gandhagi River, Gopal Bhatt scooped water with his kamandal and was about to pour it over his head. when he found that a number of black stone known as shalogram shila had somehow or other entered his kamandal perhaps due to the strong currents in the river after putting them back into the river he again scooped water with his kamandal and once again found that a number of shilas had entered the kamandal surprised at this he again put them back into river however when this happened for the third time he realized it was the plan of lord and he decided to keep all the shilas that had entered the kamandala he carefully tied the shilas around on a cloth around his neck and returned when gopal bhatto eventually returned to vrindavana He performed his bhajana in the corner of Nidhuvan where he also began worshiping the Salagram Shila which he had obtained from the Kali Gandagi river At night Gopal Bhatt would place all the Salagram Shilas in a cloth bag and hang them in a nearby tree while he took rest One day while worshiping the Salagram Shilas he began lamenting that he did not have an archa vigraha or deity of lord krishna and therefore he cannot dress them with beautiful clothings ornaments crowns and other deity paraphernalia the following day was narsingha chaturdashi and it appeared appearance day of lord narsingha dev and early morning when gopal bhatt went to worship the salagram shila after his bathing to his utter amazement he found that one of the shilas had opened up and transformed into a beautiful deity of krishna standing in the famous trivanga roopa or the three folded bending form and playing a flute on hearing the news of the miracle the other goswamis immediately came to congratulate gopal bhatta on his amazingly good fortune and to see for themselves the exquisite beauty of self manifested deity which stood about 10 inches high the goswamis gave the deity the name radha ramana which means one who gives pleasure to radha when the deity is being dressed in the morning one can clearly see half of the shalagram shila from which the deity appeared still attached to the deity's back the actual place where the deity of radha ramana self manifested form shalagram shila can be seen in courtyard next to samadhi an offshoot of the original tree 
where Gopal Bhatta used to hang his Shalagram Shila in a cloth bag can also be seen here. Gopal Bhatta Goswami had an amazing childhood. He was born in the year 1503 and he first met Lord Chaitanya in his childhood in his home around in 1511. His father Venkata Bhatta was a famous temple priest of Shishadri Vishnu in Ranganatha Mandir. When Sri Chaitanya agreed to stay back in Venkata Bhatta's residence during the rainy season, Gopal Bhatta got opportunity of hearing the kirtan and dance from Sri Chaitanya and also got opportunity of serving him for all four months. Lord Chaitanya very clearly saw the devotional aspect of young Gopal Bhatta and he, the, he explained the transcendental topics as well as the Vishnu Tattva to Gopal Bhatta when he was a child. He could recognize the devotional qualities of young Gopal Bhatta and told him not to marry in future and he should go to Vrindavan. After death of his parents, Gopal Bhatta also left for Vrindavan to take shelter of Rup Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. It is believed that Srila Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who was an expert in the subject of deity worship, made significant contribution to Sanatan Goswami's celebrated book Hari Bhakti Vilasha and also helped to edit it. The Hari Bhakti Vilasha delineates the principles of devotional service as well as the authorized Vedic system of deity worship. We were also fortunate to have a darshan of Srila Gopal Bhatta Goswami Samadhi in addition to the celebrated deity of Sri Radha Raman. During our chanting session, we also took opportunity of attending the Sayan Kirtan or Sandha Arti which was going on and also we heard the Kirtana which was going, going ahead in the temple. We will now complete, we will now go to Radha Kukulananda temple in the next episode. Hare Krishna.